What are we doing, Tony? Uh, we're all in Dave Attell. That's what he gets for making a joke about me. Are we good? Why <laughs> damn? I always wanted to this be a ramp. Us. Here it comes. <laughs> Last cigarette? Is that okay? For you? <laughs> Here's something you don't see much in LA. A man like me laying on the street. <laughs> Here we go. And I'm not Tony Hall. Hey, welcome to the show. Are we really welcoming? We're on. Yeah, it seems airy. Airy? Yeah, like this, like, I don't feel like it's sound checked enough. Like, I feel like it's, if I was going to record my vocals right now, I'd be like, turn my microphone up. Huh. <laughs> okay. That's studio Do you want to introduce our guest? Head, no, headphones no. are for losers. Yeah. 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 This is real talk. <laughs> right, guys? That's yeah. right. David Tell is here. Well. Louis Katz is here. Hey, what's up? Thanks for Thank having you. me. Thank you. Thanks for I think for we should coming. go by our, you know, our other names. You Guns know, and Roses. Is, uh, this is <laughs> Hawk and Wolf. I'd like you to meet Al and Walrus. Yeah, there you go. Is this the Marvel movie we've all been waiting on? <laughs> I know you don't podcast, but that's your fucking ticket right there. You guys I think should do so. It. What's yeah. your What's your superpower? My super. I can clear a playground. I don't know what it is. Some about me. It's in my uh, special. Check it out, guys. You know, here we are in this little house, and let's face it, we all look like squatters. I mean, yeah. honestly, we don't belong here. Yeah, but thank you for having on the podcast <laughs> oh thanks for coming yeah Excited. good special man oh thanks yeah i really like both it. of you oh thanks a lot yeah. man thanks for watching yeah i caught yours too i only watched half of yours but I, i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you guys are really funny and, and gross <laughs> thank, you. Like thank you i appreciate like it edgy. am yeah. i right is that what, oh yeah the correct pronounce yeah it was edgy yeah, yeah. yeah. i so. feel like you you take it to a certain level and then pull it back a little bit where you're you're thinking oh it's gonna go real bad and then you like just for Don't, me, yeah, for I'm you. an old man, so you know a lot of these. Uh, and by the way, he's a great joke writer, and we both nice. like fight this all the time. Of like, you know, how far can you push it? What does the audience want to hear? And it seems like every day, like what what's acceptable changes. So it is like a lot of work. It's also kind of frustrating when we're like, you know, that worked like you know two weeks ago. I mean, my my earlier stuff is now considered hate speech. You know, I mean, it's that <laughs> it's that brutal. You know, but what do you think of that? You know. I mean, yeah, it's, it's hard. Like, what, we, what you think is funny, you have to make weird strangers think it's funny. And it's cool because we're on the road, we go to his crowd. But then when we're working yeah. together in New York, it's just random tourists and they might not be yeah. into what we're into, you know? Yeah, so. my crowd is great. You should definitely do a set in front of my crowd. They love jokes. They get it. They don't yeah. get all offended. They're really good. <laughs> I, I've only, I, I did some shows in New York only one time so far in my career. And I remember being nervous because it's another coast and I don't know because I talk about stuff where I'm like, I'm not sure if everyone's going to be understanding to it. Mm -hmm. In the first show I did, everybody thought it was really funny, except one girl in the front that was with all these other girls. And she was not only disgusted, but she was mad. And yeah. she was like a cute little girl. And it <laughs> felt weird to be like, you know, listen, moron. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know what to say yeah, or you don't do. Know what to do. Yeah. And I was still pretty new. So I just couldn't not do the, the rest of my set for her. Yeah. To understand why it, I was so offended. Like, what was the, what did I say that was so gross? It was like some, it was gay stuff. Oh, she oh was I like, get it. Well, she then was you like, make really? she's the bad guy. What? Uh, what? Uh, that's how was she so homophobic? What's her problem? Yeah, the, that. Yeah, that's what it was. But I felt weird putting it on her because she was so cute. I was like, "You're I, such a bad like person." Sounds like you're not gay enough. You got to be gay, or so you don't give a shit what a cute girl thinks. <laughs> I should have made out with a dude while I was up there, but nobody was available. When things go bad, do what I do: play to the wait staff. All right, right. Yeah, find someone with a tray, play to that person. But you're saying <laughs> screw you do, the crowd. You're saying this stuff that you've done, and then like a few weeks later, it's like because you pull back. You're saying because of the times that are constantly changing. It's just like what used to be like you know just rough and ready talk is yeah. now considered you know like whoa that's so offensive. But you know. I get it. Like jokes aren't like music. There's definitely like a, a, a you know, uh, like an expiration date on jokes. So you know, whatever, whatever you're thinking now, and that's like when you do a special and you and these like jokes are like your little children. You put them out like they're kind of like turtle eggs, and like they're kind of going into the sea. And yeah. not everyone's gonna make it. Like a lot of them are not gonna make it. But the ones that do, you're like, oh man, you can grow up to be a big turtle. But you know. <laughs> 
eventually you got to let it go, get the new material out there. It's a difficult process, but you know that's what I guess being a being a comic is. You just got to keep turning. It's got to be way more difficult for both you guys because I notice your style is there's a joke every couple of seconds. Like yeah. it's not like it's, a story it's with a machine. Machine. keep it moving. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what we like. That's what I liked about him when I first met him, and that's what I try and do: trim the fat. And there's so much. A lot of comedy days has so much fat on it. It's so much unnecessary. Bullshit. I'm a walrus, basically. <laughs> yeah. so I get the, you go, do, 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 do. And I'm like, You're pacing. I, man, well, I don't have that many jokes. I'm not that funny. I'm not as funny as these guys. So I have to like. Yeah, tell but that doesn't matter. You, you both have like what, what it takes a comics years to get, which is like the comfortability on stage. Like right. you performed in front of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. Not, not anybody can say that. There's only a couple of guys, especially in the comedy world now, which is the comedy boom is huge. People are just now doing amphitheaters and stadiums and stuff like that. You were doing yeah. that when you were a kid, so. Yeah, I mean, but not, not comedy and not, not speaking. I had, to, I had to go through the fire on that, especially yeah. just with, with my career where all of a sudden I was like, oh, you're on camera now. Like, I don't know, I want to just skate. I'm good at skating. Right. I don't yeah. want to talk. It is way what different talking about? skating in front of thousands of people is and it? then oh, wait, because I, I, I wasn't the, sh the guy that everyone came to see, but I was in the demo with this guy several times where mm -hmm. there was a sea of people and it's like, if you fall off, you're like, man, I got like eight other guys that are going to back me up. And, and skateboarding, you fall off. You don't always do great every ride. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you do great or you do bad, either one, it's like, uh, it's not directly your fault. Like if you're doing stand up and you're on there with the mic by yourself it's only and your it's fault. not going well, yeah. it, there's no like can Tony jump in and like <laughs> yeah. get it back up? Like no, it's you. You're sinking yeah. and there's no one that's going to help you. It's yeah. to yeah. me way more stressful. You're being too kind to us because it's a different. Like when a joke fails, you know, it's it doesn't lead to like you know you have to go to a hospital and you got. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. you guys, <laughs> you guys are a lot more stakes on a fail. That's than why a joke, I got into know? comedy older because there's there's still the rush and the nerve wracking stress of it all the pressure it, but when i do bad i say this to people i i've never gone to hospital when i've yeah done bad i just like sulk in my car on the way home and then find it hard to go to sleep because i think i'm a failure but it's not as bad as hospital yeah i'm gonna give you guys even more fun. it's rare to do a joke that doesn't land where you end up bleeding out of all holes yeah. and i think that's happened to both of you <laughs> not Wait, both on hole. and off the court just, just a, a couple few of, holes, of them right? but yeah. not every one okay there you go You've done the what is it? What do you what do you call it when your butt cheek lands and the rest of your body keeps going? Oh, butt splitters are the worst. Butt Ooh. splitters. Yeah, you guys have never had a butt splitter, right? <laughs> well, I'm staying at a red roof it inn. Is, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. How are you moving into 2024? Are you going full throttle? I am. You're always full throttle. Thank you. Electric e-bikes can help you go full throttle. Yeah, these are awesome. They're really easy to set up. I pulled out of the butt. I don't like instructions. I just put it together and I burned off out of my backyard like a maniac. <laughs> uh, when it comes to e-bikes, I, I, I have had several. I have a bunch of them in the garage. And this one's quick. It's got a lot of gears, so it's really fast. Uh, I'm not a huge pedaler, but if you want to, you can do that. But uh, when you put it in uh, fourth and fifth gear, this thing hammers. It's easy, convenient. It folds away. It's a solid bike. Anyone can ride. It's designed for a better mode of transportation for all riders and uh, durable features and accessories for added safety, convenience, and control. You can go you can go up to 150 miles on one charge. That is seriously going the Whoa. distance. Whoa. You haven't ridden 150 miles in your backyard? I just did burnouts in the grass. Okay, that's like a mile. Yeah, it was about yeah, a so mile. So you can do that 150 more times before charging. Yeah, I it. took my cat for a ride. He didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Explore 2024 with electric e-bikes, the most accessible and adventurous e-bikes ever. Visit electricebikes.com to learn more and be sure to mention that Hawks versus Wolf, sorry. It's Hawk versus Wolf, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> be sure to mention that Hawk versus Wolf. Like apparently I can't say it. Apparently. Sent you in the post checkout survey. That's L E C T R I C ebikes.com. Yeah. I mean, is your hole messed up? Is it It's not that. It's just it's kind of like the entire region just gets Jesus. You know what I mean? It's not it's not like some <laughs> Go ahead. Explain it. I'm uh, hard. Come on, finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, don't leave me hanging. It's, not, it's, it's, more, it. yeah, it's yeah. more like there's just this general pain. Wow. Okay. But I had a, I had a friend. Yeah. Uh, I saw him do it at a demo, and I could tell it happened. Yeah. And he looks up at me and he goes, "I'm gonna shit my pants," and he runs under the ramp. <laughs> yeah. And I, we didn't see him the rest of the day. Did he soil the ramp? 
No, no but it, it just it feels like it, you immediately, yeah. Okay. We've shit our pants in a demo. Both of us have. Have really? you ever shit your pants still on a show? I, I mean, uh, shut up, Tony. Was, well, have you? It was a shart, but you know. It still counts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It wasn't like a whole dump or anything, but still counts. Sure. It did. It did make it make me sort of r- ramp up my uh, my performance. Where it was <laughs> yeah. like, okay, here are the hard tricks, and I'm out of here. Right. Wow. Are you try- and you're, are you trying to keep your cheeks closed while you're doing the tricks? That's a great question. Uh, no, it's just more like I gotta I gotta go clean this up. Yeah, I gotta, yeah. get, I gotta <laughs> get out of here. And I, and I don't want to stand too close to anyone on the deck. Yeah, appreciate that. But yeah. one time he fell, pooped his pants, sorry, shotted, and yeah. then we did doubles together where he had to go over me and I had to go over him. <laughs> and then he told me after the demo that he had shotted, and I was like, "Wait, does that mean that you jumped over me with shit in your pants?" Yep, that's and how that's COVID true. Started. That's what happened. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's did you guys ever leave a skid mark on the ramp? Because that would be really cool. Like, like no, just no. like you know, this is my ramp. Just you know? a lot, like, just a, like, a, lot. like yeah, a no, gang a, sign. We've left blood marks for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I left blood on ramps and then signed my name in the blood. That is cool. so That's cool. Fun, yeah. That's cool. Man. That is weird. See, in comedy, <laughs> you get to sign your name that. on the green room. Yeah, that's yeah. really that's right. Really, we're really kind of like you know you guys are you guys. I, I really respect what you do. And we're telling jokes in for a sure. Microphone. Yeah, so don't worry about it. You're you're doing everything right. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, but that, I did have a few uh, questions, especially for Tony, because you are an icon. So, like, what are the perks? Like, if you go to a Quicksilver, just like they let you right in. A Quicksilver. Yeah, like any place where they sell skater stuff. Wait, you're saying they don't let you in when you go to Quicksilver? <laughs> no, I, they don't. <laughs> they call security. They, they call. Yeah, it's um, an Amber Alert, I believe. I don't think of. I don't think of. of being welcome to a skate shop, the biggest perk of what I do. No, but, I'm just saying, I was uh, just trying to keep it light, but I mean, I assume there's other, you know, uh, perks to it. Restaurant reservations. That's really? the big perk. These that's days, just being famous. Sure. I'm saying in the skater world. Oh, in the skater world. Like, do you um, get to bump other skaters? Like, because that's like, we're in the comedy <laughs> world. Like, if a bigger comic comes, like I was just at the uh, at the, at the comedy store, if a bigger comic came along, right. they would bump me. You know, they were going ahead yeah. of me. Uh, and then the the, well, there's no, there's no open skate demonstrations <laughs> no like open that. So, at a skate park, yeah. right? At a skate park. Well, I, I so it's fun because you go to a skate park and you, you recognize people get excited. But yeah. the flip side of that is they expect you to perform magic right then and there oh for yeah. sure yeah and you're at a skate park you've never been to uh-huh. it's not my kind of terrain or whatever and it's just like that guy sucks <laughs> dude yeah what they think happened? he's like the video game I, I saw tony Hawk. he wasn't that good think he's he wasn't like the absolutely uh, yeah. <laughs> please yeah and, and you know what they're right <laughs> they do video game requests of stuff that like the oh, 900 really? yeah. the trick that he invented and he'll go to a place where there is no obstacle where you could perform the 900 yes. and thousands of kids will yell 900 and when he doesn't do it they'll be like what why are you not doing a 900? He's like, because it's a three foot quarter pipe yeah. and that's not how that works in the real world. But, but the, the beauty of that in, in terms of when people are so kind of clueless of it, yeah. and, and I'm not saying the general population is, but there are plenty of people like, do 900. You could do a 540 on that little thing. They'd be like, he did it. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's not AI. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> he really does it. I spun around. He saw it. Yeah. I've done demos before where I know he does a 540 in his first ride. And then I started to get pissed off about it because that's my last trick in the my last ride. Mm. So I'm like, hey, man, don't do that. Yeah, they put oh, the oh, steps on you. He and did then, your closer. And yeah. Then when, and when, then when I do talk. average yeah. stuff, you've got to really celebrate like it was really heavy. Yeah, and then that way the crowd's like, "Whoa, this guy must be ripping because Tony loves him." Yeah. And it, it, it works a little bit. It's so competitive, <laughs> right? I mean, especially in the, back in the day, it must have been crazy competitive. Uh, I mean, it's com- I don't feel like the each other. We're not like like screw that guy or right. anything like that. I mean, a little bit with a couple of people here and there, but like there's little wars or whatever. But most of the time, we want. We want to be good. We want to yeah, all be yeah. good so that we and can. We're, we're all like a part definitely of definitely feeding off each other. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's more about like the art than it is. It's about less the, catty, yeah. for sure, than comedy. That's what's cool about the comedy, especially. When I just did the special. Like so many comics, and I'm thanking them right now for helping me promote and support, and just like the fact that getting another comic to watch a special is difficult because we're all writing material, busy, all that kind of stuff. But when they watch it and they really like, you know, like, dude, I love those jokes. I mean, it means a lot to me. And yeah. to those who have helped me out, honestly, I can't thank you enough. So uh, I assume with you guys, like, you know, the touring is also a big part of it, right? That's kind of the hardest part. Nowhere near as much as you guys. But our, our no touring, way. Our I think touring you guys is on planes all the time, all over the world. Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's tours on planes all the time, but then there's... 
skateboarding's a smaller thing a lot of times where yes. it's a tour bus with a bunch of you and you go from one little janky hotel to the other and you skate everything that's in its path and those are to me, it's like uh when you're a younger guy those are the times where they're the they're the best but you then when you get older me. you don't want to be in a minivan with 20 people I'm third generation home. ramp tramp you, <laughs> right? you love being on the road right and I I think the road is the job yeah. and getting out there in front of the crowd is the is the cake yeah. but I think he'll back me up on it it's never been harder to be on the road than it is now flights cancel right. uh, it's expensive hotels all that kind of stuff has never been harder and there's no late night food we, we yeah, want to eat after sure. the show and everything the whole world like or at least I America yeah. closes early since yeah. COVID and now you can't go out anywhere it kind of sucks would you eat before you, a competition because I can't eat before going stage this guy loves to eat uh, eat. It, very minimally yeah because yeah. then well, you shart, right? right? Then the sharding happens. Yeah, all right. <laughs> That's what I think of that. It's just more, I just don't, I don't want to feel full. Yeah. Michael Absolutely. Jordan had a 12-ounce steak and two ginger ales before every game, and I tried that he one time and it didn't work. Up. I can imagine, <laughs> yeah. dude. See, wow. That's like me. I'm built like Jordan. I gotta yeah, eat. this guy's yeah. got that kind I, of game face. I have to eat before I, I can't, like I get low blood sugar. I can't remember the words. <laughs> I, I, seriously, I got to I gotta eat I lot. think it one, I, I, I actually ate a huge meal one time mm -hmm. right before an X Games. Yeah, because we went out and um, we went to a pretty good restaurant, and the waiter recognized me, and they started sending food. And oh, we, no. It was one of the first times we ever had that experience. Oh, sorry, it came. Just, sorry, oh, sorry. that's okay. It happens all the time. Sorry, I hope you can return this couch to IKEA. I apologize. <laughs> sorry about that. Continue. Sorry. Go ahead. Dude, the, oh the man! Down there. And then to creep it out more, I got my flip phone out. Wow! Go Wait, you got a flip your phone? phone? Yeah, I do. <laughs> How the hell did you get that? Do you sell drugs? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd well, you get that? Where did I get it? First of all, everybody off the grid has one. You know, <laughs> I, I thought this was a prepper podcast. <laughs> Wait, I, I don't want the man. I don't want the balloons to know where I am. Run, run. Sorry, Tony. Oh no, my my so you're at a hotel. Was far less interesting than no. than you coming you coffee ejaculating and, and showing us your, your yeah, yeah, sorry, flip phone. Uh, no, really was anyway, it was, it was one of those first X games. We and then. They just kept sending food. We were all excited because yeah. we haven't really had that experience before. And then I got to the ramp, and it was the warm up for the finals. Uh -huh. And I just felt heavy, and I kept mm -hmm. locking up, and I kept squatting out of stuff. And I was like, "Oh, this is bad." And I ended up like doing really bad. Wow! Oh. So Did you find that waiter and fuck him up? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just it was more like, "Oh, that's a lesson." Yeah, yeah. Let's not totally. do that ever again. Do you feel I like guess... you're still getting better? Oh, that's uh, in in certain ways, it's. It's hard to define. Like I've learned new tricks, but they're just sort of this other style of skating that I never really um, explored. Okay, ask me. Do you feel like you're getting better? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you on that one, buddy. <laughs> no, I have two. I, have a I think I have a good question. So you started in the '70s when kids were allowed to just run wild. Yes. Everyone. So I was. We were. I was actually driving around. I forget where it was, but it was in a, in, in one of these towns and. There was the kid on the skateboard with the helmet mm. and all the mm -hmm. things, and the mother was pushing them. And I was like, "This, you must laugh your fucking ass off when you see these <laughs> this helicoptering of a of a thing that should be just fun and wild, right?" I I don't, but only because I understand what you're saying. And, yeah, and definitely we were left to our own devices. I was a child of the They're 70s, wild, so I was yeah. a latchkey kid, and. And it was just like, yeah, I'd, we found skateboards. And we're just going everywhere in the neighborhood and skating whatever and getting yeah. in trouble. My first concussion was on the sidewalk. And I came home crying. My mom didn't know what happened. I didn't know what happened. I couldn't tell her what happened. Right. And I just started puking. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. But when we went to the skate park, the pads were mandatory. Oh, really? So I grew up in an era that you just you had to wear pads if you wanted to go skate the swimming pools and stuff. So I don't really think of it like that anymore okay. just because it was a means to an end. Right. It was always built into the culture. It was built into extent. the culture, yeah. yeah. And so, so I, and uncool. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Well, I understand when when yeah. parents are trying to encourage their kids, especially when they're starting out. I mean, you know, one false move and you can get it. Oh, I I, I, I get it, but it's just <laughs> but funny I, that wild that time. The, you know? the the thing that has changed now is that there is this parental support and sometimes parental pressure. Yeah. Where they're they're soccer moms and yes. they're no way really absolutely oh, yeah. yeah and 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 some kids like I I've met a couple of kids that just quit skating because they just hated it because their parents were pushed them so hard. Wow. It's like this is the so, only thing that'll get you into college is skating. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it is. Or it's like, you gotta look, keep practicing. Like, you got, I mean, there's one kid skated vert. You, you know who I'm talking about, but this one kid was skating vert. He 
could almost do 900s. His, his parents were very uh-huh. pushy about what he was doing and how and and how does he further his career? They would like ask me like, how do we get say that? How do we get further? I'm like, you mean him? Wow. Yeah. Is there is it because there's a lot of money in it, or they just think it's cool? They they are like failed skaters they and they wish that the kid did. That's his it? only. That's his path to success, and he quit. Wow. He, he confided in a friend. Like I, I hate skating because of what it means to my parents. I, wow. Those things are so. You, there's like one. Uh, this golf pro was supposed <laughs> to be like the new Tiger. Do you know about this guy? He was like supposed to be like the next big guy, and he was like winning everything, and then he just disappeared. He just said he didn't like it anymore. And just like wow. stopped. I think it's so interesting with like those people like that. It's like, because of the money. Parents get involved because they're like, this is a career that's going to get you money. It's going to get us money. We're going to no longer need to worry about money anymore so i'm gonna be there to drive you to get it like i got kids my kids snowboards and skates and it's i've had people ask me what do you get what do you do to help him get better and i'm like nothing yeah like if i know how i got good at skateboarding i wanted it so much yes I know how that's get, right yeah so like, how'd you get good at comedy because i loved it so much that i couldn't stop thinking about it yeah and yeah. i evolved into a great comedian that's people how it don't happens get that. for everything everybody wants it you got to need it you got to have right. to do it that's how it is yeah. when you start out You've you gotta, gotta be go. obsessed with it yeah like, you can't stop thinking about it i and expect your you parents get. weren't like you go be you have to go be funny go be funny no <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna go be like that with my kid stage if my, kid, if my kid's not funny i will i will i will beat him funny i will <laughs> <laughs> this kid better be funny <laughs> i like it i have another question which i think Bobby could, Wait, so you, is this your podcast no well i'm sorry it's not only you, 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 said, I'm sorry. I, I, you said in your special i'm the only comedian without a podcast so uh, uh, maybe so this is your me. chance yeah. to have a podcast maybe i should spill something but um <laughs> let me spill the beans on this one okay here we go so you guys are skateboarders now do you get along with surfers because i figure like it's a different thing there no Oh, no, we do, yeah. Okay, sure. Because, sure. like, in the comedy community, us and ventriloquists, it's a love-hate. Yeah. You know? We're more, I think ventriloquists and comedians is more like skateboarding and boogie boarding. Mm, it's like vampire liking. You know, it's like during the day, <laughs> right. ventriloquism. At night, we rule the world. Right. You know? so yeah, but, but we, our worlds don't collide that much. What are yes. rollerbladers? Those are your mortal enemies? I mean, that, 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 be, was, right? that was definitely a, okay, wait, that yeah. was a thing, in, but especially not anymore, in the 90s. Right? What about yeah. train surfers? I'm saying like train there was surfers. some, there's some Train surfers. Those guys are cool. I, no, I, I, that. I knew yeah. you were going to say that. It was more that skating was in decline and, and our style of skating, yeah. ramp skating was in decline. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden inline skating was on the rise. Yeah. And so that's what caused the animosity because skaters were like, what the hell? Like, yeah. we're still here doing this. Uh-huh. Yeah. And now this is the thing. And that caused this weird they, I, I feel like that has. I was mad. You I was thankful the, because, because uh, I got to invited to some of those shows. Oh, cool! So it was like it was the inline show. It was the rollerblade show featuring skateboarder Tony Hawk. I was like, I'm gonna get paid to skate. Yeah, nice. I didn't, I didn't get, that's cool. <laughs> We're I didn't cool. Get invited. Give me my check. <laughs> he didn't get invited. That's why he's mad. I had a skate shop that sponsored us, and then they stopped sponsoring me when I was like top ten in the world, and then they sponsored rollerbladers, and then all the rollerbladers came to my home ramp. And it was just me, the only skateboarder with all these rollerbladers that were just too happy to be there. Yeah. And I was dark and broke and, and angry. And mm-hmm. they were like, hey, man, are you having a good day? And I'm like, no, no, I'm actually having a bad day. And you're making it worse. And stop pretending that it's not stuck to your feet, trying to grab onto it. Like, you know, why are you grabbing your boot? It's already stuck on there. Wow. I, got, I got spun up about it. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm you? over it now. But I'm upset. Good. Thank yeah. you. I knew you would side, respect dude. this. I'm on your side. Yeah. <laughs> So in New York, where we live, you know, I live in New York, I've seen the skateboard used um, as a weapon. Yeah. I've seen it used to roll a joint. Yeah. What other things can the Wait. Swiss Army knife do? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it used as a as a uh, ambulance for a squirrel. I've seen yeah. it as a guy push a squirrel. Like, yeah, they love that. But I did see one thing, and this is a true story. You know the motorized skateboards? You must hate those. Like, you know, like I don't those. hate them. Okay, but well, anyway. I'm trying to get him to hate things. He doesn't hate I know, them. You okay. catch it yeah, you're a good guy. I think that they are quietly inherently dangerous. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, yes. I think they that people are don't they... realize like that they're suddenly going 20 miles an hour and that can There's be nothing really dangerous to their yeah. health. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I saw like, I guess it was a long board, but it was still motorized or something like that. Yeah. But it was like late at night, like a Friday night, like, you know, just like the bars are kind of close. And it was a dude with, I guess, his girl, and they're, like, hugging each other on this board, and it's, like, like a Friday night hookup. I like, just wanted to like, slam. Like, what a way to get home. Like, yeah. hey, you think this is this is weird? Wait till we get to my one-bedroom apartment with nine roommates. Yeah. You know? I mean, there's no way that guy has money. No. <laughs> He's taking her home on a yeah. skateboard. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty stupid. <laughs> the, the best thing about those and scooters is when they fall off. 
Oh, to well. me, I've seen I've New laughed down. at a lot of comedy in my time, but I don't think I've laughed quite as hard as when I see a scooter guy eat shit, like as I'm driving by in my oh, car. For sure. It brings so much joy, like really warms my soul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like on one the, of the uh, my version is when I see people in New York on motorized skateboards, I fear for their lives. Oh, right. yeah. terrifying, terrifying there. Yeah. I, terrifying. Just from traffic, not from their skill set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've been on a skateboard not going as fast as they are and almost got hit by cars plenty of times there. Yeah. yeah. And I'm and I to myself I think, why am I skating on the street? <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's why it's so cool what you do. You're trying to make skate parks accessible for, especially in these urban areas, like where they desperately need them. And it, and as an old person walking, I would love for it. Like there's an area where people could do that. That would be great. You know, <laughs> yeah, we, be working really, on it. It would be <laughs> really good, it, man. Yeah. So keep it up. You're doing God's oh, work. Thank you very much. He is. <laughs> and uh, you know what I was gonna say? Like you know, uh, we're out on tour. Like uh, the next spot for us, I don't know when this, when does this come out? Oh, I'll be out of the business by then. So, <laughs> well, what do you have going? It was a great ride. <laughs> it was a fun ride. You had a good run, yeah. Well, I'll, be, I'll still be doing it. I'll be in Here's Chicago. Here's a retrospective of your career. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. Let's look at some of my best fails. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're t you take breaks? No, no, he doesn't take I have any a mortgage. Breaks. I, I can't say, take breaks. He doesn't take going, any right? breaks. I got a mortgage and, uh, you know, no, I got too many bills for breaks. <laughs> yeah. You, you really? know, people always go like, hey, when you go to the town, you know, you should check out. It's like, dude, I've done that like 10 years ago. I uh, went to the museum. He's there. got a yeah, mortgage yeah. and no life. So this is all it is is comedy, <laughs> comedy, comedy. Coffee. Yeah, yeah, I, saw, uh, I don't I, have a liquid death thing to fall back on like you guys. You liquid death billionaires. I saw the Joe Rogan experience that you don't enjoy water. <laughs> yeah. Water is a <laughs> Joe is the coolest. Cigarettes man. and coffee is like yeah. mainly what you digest. He's, oh, a, yeah, he's a gremlin. Thing, yeah. Just terrible. A terrible. And I'm then terrible. you're on the road constantly and you say you can't get food at night. So what are the things that you do when you're on the road to amuse yourself besides drink coffee and smoke? I well, I was just saying, like, you know, now that I'm old, like just finding a place to eat, and we really put a lot of time into it. Yeah. We were in Philly, which is a great food town, am I right? Yes. Help me out on that. Yes. And it was late. It was not even that late, but like we were looking and looking for a place to eat. And we had a comic with us who's a bigger he's a fat guy. Right. So we kinda I was I was like, if there is anything, he'll find it. I mean, <laughs> we were using him like a bloodhound. Yeah. Like I was, I was like, he'll sniff it out. Technique. He'll sniff it out. Yeah. And he's getting, and he's wheezing, right. like walking, he's walking. He's almost running street. out of food, yeah. So we ended up at a Wawa. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Nah. It's like a it's like a, a 7 Eleven. Yeah, um, but they make sandwiches. Yeah, it's uh, not bad. Like no, it's, it's not like, good. Was, it's not bad, it's not good, but everything in there is uh I would say better than like a bodega, correct? Yes. Oh, that's good. Well, there you go. Better than 7 Eleven. Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit better than 7 Eleven. You can't buy fentanyl there. That's right. the difference that I know. So. Do you like healthy food? No. Right. Only, I have a, During the day, I don't eat at all. That's what I I only eat one meal a day. So. And I'll is, have it, like and a, is it late apple. at night after the show? What's that? Yeah. That's like my, uh, my pop. And then that's so if you have an all day, day, it used to be Coke and booze. Now it's just like, oh, well, I'm eating a quesadilla. This is awesome. <laughs> but it's really the only at night after real. the show. No, well, during the day I'll have like some nuts and like a uh, you know like an apple or something like that. Is this the view? Honestly, <laughs> this, I didn't expect when you look like that. That's not the kind of question you ask somebody. <laughs> that's like a prison hello. I'm just, Do you eat during the day? Because you're gonna be stuck on my game. <laughs> I got a little snack for you right here. <laughs> that's not what I meant. <laughs> okay, but thank I you. You're grooming. Just <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm just trying to understand oh how you stay alive when you do comedy when you're older. I'm like right behind you dude, in the old thing. Dude, don't overthink it for God's sakes. I mean, like, I think he'll back you up. You gotta like, you gotta like bomb a million times before you can bomb every other time. Like uh, for yeah. us at least, there are some gifted comics out there who like, like I saw Chappelle when he was 15 doing comedy, and I was like, this guy's already figured it out. I mean, it's amazing. So there's some people who are gifted. Some of us, we just really just like it's the journey, you know. Yeah. But do you have fun doing it? I love it. Then there you go. So yeah. you're not going to stop. Yeah, I love going with, even when I'm not That's going cool. out. <laughs> I just yeah. like going. I go to the comedy store and just freak out on all the people that I know are crazy comedians up on stage all the time. I'm like, holy shit, that's Mark Maron. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what I do. For me. Like That's my week. I'm like, there he is. It's like it's like when I was a kid and he'd come to Australia and I'd be like, holy shit, Tony Hawk's right there. And then if he looked looked my way, I'd be like, nope, fucking that's crazy. That's pretty much what's happening at the comedy store in my 50s where I'm like, Mark Maron. And he looks my way and I go, oh, 
So you guys have known each other for 40 years? I've known years. him longer than he's known me, but yeah, we've known each other for wow. a long time. Wow, true, yeah. That's pretty amazing. There's a video of my parents filming me on top of a vert ramp where he came to do a demo and was in a contest, and for some weird reason they let <clears throat> anybody sign up and be in the contest. You just had to pay 20 bucks, I think it was, and I was up on the deck, and he's standing. In my heat. Yeah, in his <laughs> yeah. heat, because mm -hmm. they, they put, wow. they didn't, yeah, and I, so I'm, I don't care about doing anything in the contest. I'm just like, holy shit. Wow. He's right here. And at one point, I'm looking at him, and he his head starts to go my way. And I'm like, <laughs> and I look at my, my parent. Like, I think my father's holding the camera. And I'm like. Really? In, we have the video. That's awesome. That's yeah, so like, cool. He's right there. <laughs> what? That's all the pressure on you, though. Like, when you, you know, like, you have these younger guys looking at you and, like, trying to figure it out. And you're like, I'm still figuring it out. You know, like, because you're never really done with anything. So. I, yeah, I but he's the that. best with that. Like out of anybody, out of all of us, like obviously he has the biggest name. But mm -hmm. when it comes to little guys and little girls skating and him talking to them, yeah, I've seen him put in the time where that's like, great. I wasn't at I, his level, and I'd be like, some kid be like, "Hey man, how do you do that?" And I'm like, "Keep doing it," you know, like fuck off. <laughs> and then he's, <laughs> and, and he's like, talk. he's like, you know, like oh, you know, if you do this, or if you put your foot like this, mm -hmm. and I'm like, this kid right now is saying to himself. Holy shit, Tony yeah. Hawk has given me pointers and then and then usually like I'll see him teach a kid a trick. That's cool. And then and then that kid has that for the rest of his life. That's to amazing. Go. That's yeah, awesome. that's and really... I've seen him do that well, hundreds I enjoy of times. I mean it's I really do. That's that's the gift that I, I get to keep giving and um Nice. Well, you but know, it was hard for me to break out of my own discomfort, you know, as a kid cuz I was awkward and an outcast and then people look at me like, "What are you looking at me for?" Like, <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to. I don't know how to interact. I know right. how to skate, but I finally kind of figured it out. This podcast is sponsored by Squarespace. Do you know what Squarespace is? Yeah, it's the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. It's true. Yes. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in the one place, all on your terms. Squarespace has services like Squarespace Blueprint, AI, and SEO tools. Start a completely personalized website with the new guided design setup, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from ground up, tailored to your brand or business, and optimized for every device. Squarespace offers flexible payments. Make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. Accept credit cards, PayPal, and Apple Pay, and in eligible countries. Offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. Squarespace also offers client invoicing. Easily manage your clients and invoices from vetting leads to receiving payment via invoices in one streamlined, customizable workflow. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash hawk to save 10%. <laughs> Off your first purchase of a website or domain, because skate talk—that's the other, like he can still do that for me. Like, what's uh, the, what'd you say? Skate talk, where he oh. says things in a skate conversation, where it's not about life advice; it's skateboard advice, but it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. But when mm -hmm. you're like, "Hey, man," like, he, like he said things to me, like, "I notice you're," I mean, if you take it from this angle, it might work out different. And I'm like, "Yeah, I mean, I never would have thought of that. I'll try it." And then mm -hmm. I'm like, "Hey." That was good advice. Or in Tampa, I got a little excited and I was, it was like a bunch of old guys skating and we're all old and I was pushing it. Mm -hmm. And I, I almost killed myself and I got out on the deck next to him and he goes, Hey, hey, slow down. And I, <laughs> yeah. and I, and I knew exactly what that meant. Like it wasn't, it wasn't go slow. It was like, you're about to kill yourself. <laughs> like, pull back just I think a little it was bit. after you landed in the channel, is when I thought, right. oh, <laughs> well, you gotta take it down a notch. Yeah, like I yeah. should have bailed on this there's one. A, there's a gap in the ramp. And you go over it. It's not a big gap, but you want to clear it. Yeah. And he wasn't going to clear it, and he didn't give a fuck. And he just landed in the middle of it and Oof. survived it. And I was like, all right. I was pumped, you know? I mean, you guys have both <laughs> done, like, some, uh, do you call it tricks or stunts? Whatever. Hit tricks. I, I mean, just, like, where, you, where like, if it went bad, you you really, it, it would have been it. You yeah. know, like, but parkour. But those are the ones I lived for. I, I can imagine. But, like, uh, yeah. you know, I see it in these parkour videos. But I'm like, I've seen these kind of earlier in the skate world yeah. when you guys would jump, like, buildings and all that kind of stuff. And I was, like, wondering if you could jump me. 
<laughs> well, I the most dangerous. That way. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what, in what context? <laughs> I, will ollie, has I, I will happily ollie over you, sure. Because sure. yeah. I, I remember in New York, it was just a <laughs> long, long time ago, a guy jumped a, a garbage can on fire. <laughs> And this it was not a protest. Yeah, he had no political thing. It was just nobody was in it. It was just a, like a what the fuck thing to do. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, man, that's the coolest, you know. And then a skater. Yeah, it was a skater, and he was just like a, a like a dude, you know, just wanted yeah. to do it. And he was panhandling for money, and we all threw money at him, and he, you know, yeah. he did it a couple see, times. So uh, Tyshawn, Ollie, that Ferrari, you see that? Yeah, like off the flat, right? Off the flat. Yeah, yeah. Like, he yeah, ollied no over jump some ramp, just ollied over. A Ferrari. Wow. That's what we call it, no ramp. We're, no, no ramp. The yeah, long way or the, the wide way? Because like, usually when you no, say jumped way. over that yeah. can of fire, wow. yeah. there was probably a ramp in front of it, right? Yeah. A little, it's like a little A little something. kicker, yeah. yeah. This guy had it makes no a kicker. big difference. That's yeah. crazy. If you do it off the flat ground, that's yeah. like an ollie. Yeah. If you can ollie three and a half feet, that's really impressive. Wow. Yeah. Or two comedians. True. Look at you. Like if you can ollie it. two <laughs> comedians, it's super impressive. Let's go. We'd love to see that. That would be awesome. I just don't want to lie down on top of him. That's for after the show. That would be too high. That would be too high for me That's how we decompress. Are you guys coaching like the Olympics? Do you have anything to do with that? or Not coaching, no. I'm I'm there. I am there on the beat on the invite of the IOC. So I'm just kind of there getting plugged into interviews and things like that. Oh, like okay. I don't have a specific role, which is I'm, I'm thankful for. Was it weird that it, what do you think about it being in the Olympics? I think it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone past that now. There was a time uh -huh. where there was, we were punk and because we were yeah. not, we were not accepted. Then we're not get, we're not going to accept your exception. But now it's for, it's like if we get in the Olympics, if Tony has a video game, if we get invited to do a TV show, it makes more people want to skate. And sure. we know, you know, like there's more chance of a kid getting into skateboarding and getting what we got. Yeah, sure. So mm -hmm. I, I don't care how it gets out there as long as it gets out there and makes kids go, hmm, maybe I should try skateboarding because what I got from it was – like life alt, I mean, it's the greatest thing that ever yeah, happened. Yeah. To me. I was, it's I was never it. against it being the Olympics, though. What is it? Um, but it's judged, right? Like, like figure it's skating. But, but so it's, who that, are the that's judges? What, I guess you that's guys the, should be the judges. Yeah, who's the judges? If not, uh, you. no, I don't want that job at yeah. all. Oh, that would be well, that's what I'm no. saying. Is it hard to judge? Like, who yeah. who would the judges well, be? You know. They're other skateboarders. Okay. They're not. They're they're other skateboarders from other countries too, because it have you know, there's all these rules in place. Um, but the thing, I think the the misperception about skating the Olympics is that suddenly they are creating competition for our, for our sport or our activity or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. It's like, we've been competing. I've been competing since I was 10 years old. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There have been skateboard competitions all through. That was the only way to get recognized in our day. All right. That's the only way that you're going to get a sponsor or, get, yeah, sponsor. or get paid or, or to be on the radar at all. You had to compete. Um, so they're not reinventing the wheel. They did have to refine the judging criteria to yeah. fit within the, well, just so that there's something more obvious. Sure. Would, would it, would it, it look be... more like a gymnastic thing, like freestyle and all that kind of like, would it have those different layers to it? No, I mean, in the, like in the park event, which is the, the bowls and the mm. um, kind of pyramid stuff, it's, it's very cut and dry. It's like trick selection, the use of the terrain, speed, height, consistency. If you wow. fall, that, you're not going to But if you brought one of those ribbons then. like from the gymnastics, I think that would look really cool, you know? You might get good scores from the, Maybe the gymnastics uh, judges. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. You guys must hate it. You put all this work into it, right? You're like, this is it, this is it. you know, like you're putting your heart and soul in it. And then someone puts up a clip of a dog on a skateboard and they get a million, billion hits. What's wrong with that? Yeah, okay, okay, good, because I watch that stuff. <laughs> did you guys see, did you guys see the turtle? Like, okay, have good. you guys seen the turtle on the on the fingerboard? No. Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, he That's rips. amazing. Yeah. That must blow that turtle's mind. Look how fast <laughs> I'm going. It chases a cat. No oh, way. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because it gets on it and realizes it can start moving and the cat's like, oh shit, and it comes after it. <laughs> and to the young kids at home, these are the things you watch when you can't drink anymore. Turtles, <laughs> cats, parrots. A hey, little bit of entertainment That's when you're waiting fantastic. in line for coffee. Yeah. When did saying. you quit drinking? Oh, decades, a long, long time ago. And huh? I'm glad I got out of it. I was Because uh, you were really good at it, right? I, it was part of my job, I guess. It was also part of my... Uh, I grew up in a place where everyone drank. Yeah. And drinking and driving was a sport, right. actually. So, but it's a generational thing. I would say in today's world of comedy, in terms of... Because it was also part of the comedy life. But I'd say in today's world, it's like... You got some parties, but it's mostly pot, you know, maybe yeah. a little something else, depending on what they do. And then you got, like, the, the gym guys. You know, the guys that, like... 
you know, boom, I got to put in my two hours. You yeah. know, these guys are like basically, uh, you know, they're ready to go. So yeah. there's very few uh, guys who cross over, but I would say that, you know, it's a different world of comedy for it. I, mean, oh, I lost a lot of friends, by the way, to uh, drugs and alcohol. So skateboarding you know, has too, man. These, well, oh, exactly. It's like you know? when you when you are just not as good as you were, and you you know a lot of try just to fill were, that void. Yeah, you mm -hmm. try to fill the void, and sure. then there's and then there's just there was an era like I was from where it was after the contest, you got shit faced. Like, yeah, and if you didn't, then you weren't a skateboarder. Exactly. Yeah. And, then, and then I mean, there there was a point where if you weren't partying with that crew, you might get judged. Badly. Yeah, like, you're the narc. Really? He's speaking because, on experience. Yeah, because because the judges are like, that guy's not cool. He's not really? down. Yeah. Damn. He wasn't, he wasn't out with us. We yeah. were, the way I saw it was like everybody. So the judging has changed a little bit from then to the <laughs> Yeah, Olympics. now, yeah. Everybody that was a pro vert skater in the 80s was in Guns N' Roses. They just didn't know it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, was like, it was like after the gig. It must be wild, dude. It was a wild time. <laughs> yeah. But but the, then the, the level, because now there's people that... You know, trained. There's people that are yeah. Yeah. physically fit and skateboard. We used to just be drunk, high, and then skateboard. Uh, and then there's a guy that's like kettlebell swinging, and I'm like, why? <laughs> and it's like, because I'm getting my core strength going. And I'm like, core? Like, try yeah. sucking some bong rips. That'll get your core going. <laughs> but it, but And then the, the level, then there's coaching. And I, I remember the first time I heard it, I belittled it. I was really? like, wait, what? Who has a coach? <laughs> yeah. like, this guy, I'm like, a coach for what? Like, go team, don't give up. And it's like, no, dude, like teaching him a better line or a trick that he could add there. And yeah. I remember thinking in my mind, pussy. Yeah, exactly. Like, what a pussy. Yeah. And then I see the level from, from my era to this era. And I'm like, okay, maybe I should have got a kettlebell and a coach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because they can do stuff now where I didn't think a, that a, a human could do it. Mm -hmm. wow. it's, and it keeps going. Does it keep evolving? Is it like yes. are you guys yeah. impressed by yeah. the, the it, new it's tricks? It's insane. Really? It, it really is. Like it, the, the level of tricks that are being done now is is stuff that we only imagined in video game form. Wow. Right. Yeah. Oh, maybe like that's why they're doing ago. it because they've seen it in video games. That some, it some do. That yeah, that's true. That's absolutely true. I noticed that with like music because I see drummers that can play like, like that drum and bass kind of drum beat that I thought was only electric, but now right. they can do it on a drum set. Right. I think when people see it. They hear it and it's a machine doing it. They then just find a way to do it themselves. You know what I mean? Wow. Oh, yeah. Sense? Yeah. That's the first time I came to America. I went back to Australia 10 times better because I just went and saw 25 people that could do stuff that I'd never seen in real life. Uh -huh. And yeah. when I saw them do it, I was like, oh, that's it's how possible. you do that. And also yeah. it just shows that it's possible. Yeah, yeah, totally. Are you guys afraid of the AI? Because, like, let's face it. <laughs> Why, why would I? Because AI will like they can do, they can <laughs> make up come? fake videos. Like look at this guy who's jumping in. Oh, you know, oh there's a, a new guy out there that's <gasps> no, not no. a new guy. He's an AI skateboarder. No, no, just like the whole idea of like they can like enhance tricks. Like they'll have like a like you said like you know I want my son to be a great skateboarder. So you oh. like AI his. We his, have like, yet to experience that. I okay. think I think we're it's coming. The, I think where's my flip phone? <laughs> skating <laughs> is the last in line for for AI corruption. Yeah. Okay, good. Because yeah, eventually he's gonna have to show up. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be or, a sad day for him. Or, or maybe he'll always like be unavailable, let the price go up. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it. We, Comedy, we, that's we how won't you do buy it. that ticket. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need to see you in the flesh. <laughs> okay, so I was telling Jason earlier. Oh, this is excellent. I think you used me in a joke at some point. Did I? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I know the joke. That's true, right? I know the joke, yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. uh, you Dave, ever, do you literally know the get joke? the car running. <laughs> 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 They're skateboarders. We'll beat them. We'll get out. No, I, I know the joke. I know Someone the joke. sent it to me, and I was, I was hyped. Are you kidding me? But, no but way. Tell Dave what you tell Dave that you don't. Okay, it's he, something about you. Tell I know the, the joke. joke. It's like okay. you take a shit and it ends up on the inside of the rim, and you're like, "Yeah, I Tony Hawked it." That's <laughs> right. Oh, I look down. You know what I see? Nothing. There's nothing in the bowl. What happened to my poopers? <laughs> Guess where it was? Under the rim. Yeah, I Tony Hawked it. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. You know, I was, but I was thinking like, what? I don't. I think I get it. It almost doesn't it doesn't really like, make sense. Don't like think about it's it too a much. Pipe? He's just saying he did a like a dookie trick is basically or like what he's saying. Like it went up the ball. Is that <laughs> no, what it is? I felt I felt it was like it was like something that like a skater could go on the outside of the ring. You know, like you guys have all those incredible moves. Okay, yeah. got it. Don't hate me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate when I meet the. <laughs> I hate when I meet the <laughs> subject the of the fun. joke. I think it's amazing. Oh, the most fun I've ever had on oh, this podcast. Dude. <laughs> you don't know what skateboarding oh, is. So talking about Tony Hawk and a shit and Tony Hawk going. If I was a shit in a bowl, I wouldn't do this. It was his last joke. Joke yeah. of the special. Yeah. Oh my god! And then I, and I was left like, wait, 
Is that a cup? I don't understand. I'm so sorry. What was it? Please, please don't care. turn into a hawk. I think it's amazing. <laughs> Dude, I, man, oh, that man. is fucking great. You I got it right, right? That was the yeah. You don't I, remember? I guess I owe you money. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. That was the closing That's joke? Why that means that was the best joke I had. Why do you think I invited you here? Oh, damn. <laughs> it's a shakedown, Louie. It's, it's a shakedown. It's time to pay <laughs> It's time to pay the piper. Yeah. yeah. So, you're not getting out of here until there's a check written. That is great. Man. <laughs> You Holy. should invent a trick that's called the Atel. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, I, I sit quietly until my adult diapers fall, and then I. <laughs> you should blame oh, it on it's, it's, when you, it's when you shart in midair. Yeah, yeah. 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 you've already done it. Yeah, mid setup. <laughs> Wait, we both done it. I've done an Atel. No, but I yeah. thought that was I thought that was an homage to you. I, I apologize if you're saying <laughs> no, it the wrong way. No. I didn't. Think of it Much as an insult as we at say all. No, it, was it was more confusing. A to thousand parties. The best part was. Comedian skateboarder, him telling me, he's like, Yeah, he made a joke about me. I'm like, He did? And he goes, Yeah, but I'm not really sure how it makes sense for the shit. And I'm like, Oh, please ask him. <laughs> oh, you know what I we need to see do. you to understand the shit in the ball joke. Oh, uh, we, um, I hate to say it, but we, we have to do it live. I'll do the joke like, Hey, a any requests? Oh, here's one from my old album. You'll love it. So I'm taking a shit and I hit the, like, tell, and then you stand up and go, what does that mean? And then you slowly roll up on your board. If I was a shit, that's not what I would do. Can you break that down for me? Yeah, I, I'm not laughing, okay? And then you get up there and, and totally deball me. Because I've never scared a bowl. Yeah. I've never scared a bowl with a toilet lid around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah the top. I, I knew it. I knew it. It seems very challenging. It was more of a haiku. I mean, it wasn't really about you. It wasn't really about the toilet. It was, it was more about the shit. Global warming, people. That's what it's about. Wake up. Yeah. <laughs> that is great, man. Thanks oh, for bringing that up. Right. That so wow. Much fun. That must have really been a shock. You guys are on the tour bus passing a bong. No. <laughs> Did you say my name? Uh, yeah, that's, that's me. Every, every time I passed the bong, it was around Tony. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah th through me. <laughs> Tony's oiling his board. As you guys are doing massive bumps. Doing kettlebell swings. <laughs> yeah. Jokes on you, Jason. Tony's testing the wind. You guys are like, you're just like every hole something's going in there. <laughs> Seriously. Ketamine that, eye that drops. Actually, I don't yeah, even know what this far, is, man. not far off with our with our. I'm pretty tours. sure. <laughs> yeah. He's got his oh, walk man, man on, you know. Who fucking hell? Game, hurts. game, game. Oh. <laughs> My my wife calls it a uh, pre demo depression. Mm. You get it before them. What's that? Before? Just before I'm skating, I just like. Oh. No, but you're really? focusing. I'm focusing, but I'm also dreading it because I just feel like I'm not. I, I I was just my worst critic, so I'm not. I feel like I'm just not going to live up to what I think every I'm time. Of. It's always pretty much that? every time. Yeah. Wow, I have let go of it a little bit, but there was a time when she's like, "Oh, here it is." Pre, pre demo depression. How much before? Like, a, would it fuck up your whole day before? A couple hours. Okay, a couple hours. Yeah, uh, the, most of the day. Right wow. before Big Meets, you have like your uh, agents and managers and everybody in the room and all that, like people like, hey, you know, this guy, he's a great guy, he's a big fan, that kind of thing. What do you mean? People like meet like, and greet type of thing? Yeah, or? like, no, I'm saying like before the match, it always seems in comedy, like for some reason, it's like everybody who wants to talk to you does it right before the show. And it's like, oh, even though we're not yeah. Olympic divers or anything, it's like we do kind of need a moment. And they'll, the, the cool ones, like the management, they'll be like, oh, we'll give you your time. But usually it's like, hey, this is my friend, and he just came in from Chicago, and, you know, he wanted to ask you a few questions. It's like, dude, we're going on now. So, yeah. you know, it's a small green room. It's not like this. Uh, I was always room. impressed that you guys could talk before you went on stage. Yeah, like, no, I'm we do. I'm getting a little bit better now, but there was a time there where I, my temperature changed. I, was, I needed a jacket. And really? I was freezing before I went on stage, and then I'd get off and be like, did I just get cold from the nerves? Wow. And then I'd see these assholes being like, yeah, next week we're going to go. And I'm, the, and I'm like, oh, I'm up, I'm up, oh, okay. And I'm like, wait. You no, but that's us. I'm talking about like when it's like, you know, people are just like coming in like, you know. I think it's more. You know, my I, cousin's a friend is or whatever. Yeah, and you really just wanted a picture. And it's like, yeah, you can do it afterwards, but yeah. it's always like right before. I think there's like a. Like you don't see that at the Olympics. You know, that's what I was going to say. I don't think you, I don't think, I think the Olympics, they stop people from doing meet and greets before their contest. Yeah, well, right? that, yeah. Afterwards, we do the merch. Did you guys, you must have had to do that yeah. over the years a million times. We have, you know, trying to sell some merch, you know, this make some gas money. This is the worst. I have, the I have worst skating. No, but I mean, when in I was person, a kid. though. In um, person. It's, you never it wasn't really like that for skating. We didn't, it, huh. you know, we were usually doing our exhibitions at skate shops. Oh, okay. So there's merch by default, but this is more because it was like, especially the early '90s. The tours were like, it's the parking lot of the skate shop. Yeah. And here is a jump ramp, 
and a box with PVC uh, coping and okay. like that's that's the exhibition. Mm. And so it was all pretty minimal. When we started doing big exhibitions like arena tour type of stuff, then that was, yeah, there was a merch stand, but there we didn't to have be. to man the merch stand. Okay. His is the, after, but, you know when people want to meet you after the show? Yeah. His like, version of that is, I don't think that there's another celebrity athlete, anybody that faces the bombarding that he gets. Like, oh yeah, well you haven't seen our merch. Because it's, <laughs> <laughs> we're out there. We're, we're reading prayers with them. We're doing everything. But you're, <laughs> you're actually the host at the merch stand or is it more Oh yeah, no, we're you, both out there. We but it's it. more because, so that you can meet you, right? I mean, that's. Yeah, yeah. Well, I yeah. did a show yes. where I, I talked to everybody. So that's yeah. kind of part of my, my, my thing. I there. saw you with the recorder. Well, yeah, but Very years talented. ago, I used to, you know, do shows like that way. But it, that's part of it. Like the super fans, you definitely want to give them access, a picture, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes the club won't allow it. But I figured for you guys back in the day, like, you know, you're like signing skateboards, you're doing all that kind of stuff that, that you were constantly out there, you know. But <laughs> his, his signing thing, when people when he signs things, it gets because skateboarding is, brings the child out in people. So not sure. only are there children there, but there's also adults that have turned into the child they were. Sure. And they just go towards him. And if he disappears and gets crushed by everybody, they don't, they're blacked out. They're not who they are anymore. It's like a weird, when wow. people see Tony Hawk, they go, oh my God, Tony Hawk. Ah, I used to, I did a video game. Ah, and they don't, they're not who they really are. Wow. They've lost their minds. And if yeah, it's, and I, if it's a thousand but I would say people, people, people are especially that are parents that used to skate and their kids skate. They're they have a little bit more. They're more respectful in terms of their approach and things. Right. Mm. But I did do this thing where I, <laughs> I did sort of a, a surprise appearance at a skate park to give away tickets to this show that we were skating at. Mm -hmm. And I was skating the bowl, warming up. This is in San Diego. I think I told you the story. And I missed this kind of basic trick and came down. When I came down. I hit my helmet, but my helmet ended up going up, and then I hit my my uh, forehead oh, again. Uh -huh. So I split my eyebrow open. Uh -huh. Oh wow! I was fine. It's a lot of blood, though, right? But it was a lot of blood. And at some point, all these people started showing up because they heard I was there, and I was giving away tickets. And then they started asking for autographs, and I'm trying to make my way out of the skate park. No one acknowledged that there's blood running down my face. <laughs> Did anyone try and get a vial? Like, please. Yeah. There, was, there, was, there, was one, there was one girl that was like, are you okay? I'm like, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Jesus. And I keep, I keep like putting my sleeve on my oh, eye. Oh, man. So I'm like, I'm like this trying to sign stuff. And no one acknowledged it. That's wow. so weird. Like, if they, it was they, wild. If they were fans, they would care that you were okay. No, you know? but the, 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 the Tony Hawk is in the building surpasses the blood. Yeah. It but, goes, uh, well, but then I went I went to a pharmacy we're straight away. Like mm -hmm. I went straight to a pharmacy to get the, like stuff just to, to close it. Sure. Yeah. And I'm in line holding it over my eye, like uh -huh. right? I'm in line and I'm, I'm buying and the guy's like, yo man, you Tony Hawk? I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a photo? I'm like that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a gushing head wound. That's fine. It's kind Over of a here. bonus. It was like a bad comedy skit. But nobody went like, he's human. Blood. <laughs> no, no, nobody did any of that. Nope. I thought he was a cyborg. No, I, had, I had to go. Like, I had to, get, to get away from everyone, I had to go in my car and then do my own so uh, surgery. I can only on imagine, it. like, my. I remember my mom stitching up my knee. Like, you know, I like she was like, "I'm not taking you to the hospital. We're not gonna pay you for that." So she like Old school. gets out her needle and oh, thread yeah. and does like a little shut fizzle. up. No, like really? really, you know, yeah. So wait, it, you ram? You got ramboed? <laughs> Is that what you call it? Yeah. 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 Your own stitches. Your own yeah. stitches? That's yeah. Rambo. She, she, she like basically like mm, you should have been doing that. No, and be -de 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 -de. no numbing That's needle, right? Just, just stitches. No, I was a little kid. I, I, mean, I got a popsicle or that something. Is I put <laughs> my mouth. Man, I got stitches a lot. And one time I told the doctor I didn't want the needle because the needle hurt more than the stitches. Mm -hmm. And then the stitches they, they were like, "Trust me, you want it." And I was like, J "I've had. Trust me, I've had a lot of stitches. Just give me the." Fucking stitches leave the needle out of it and they put it in this one side of the meat and before it went into the other side, I was like, I want the needle. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was wrong. Let's include Louie. You look like you know where you're around the cold and flu section of a pharmacy. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. With something. I got stitches. <laughs> Dry <right>? eye? Anything? <laughs> Dennis elbow? <laughs> Swimmer's ear. Swimmer's ear. I had carpal tunnel. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> that Today's world, that's, you know, a monument. I did have that, that experience when I dislocated my fingers because I went in to the hospital with both of these fingers. Oh, that's not her. Oh, that's and, uh, and you the doctor. That, right? the, 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 I, I didn't know if they were broken or not. And the mm -hmm. doctor, he examined, he's like, oh, no, they're not broken. They're just dislocated. 
He's like, I can put him back in right now. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. And then he starts to do it. I was like, nope, uh, you, no, that's, we're going to require some sort of painkiller for yeah. that. That's really? Because yeah. as one soon as he started called. moving it, I was just, there was just no way. Oof. But when you, when you guys were like out, like, you know, like you're like feral young kids and you get hurt like that, would you just do it? Like, you know, like I see it all the time with the guys had, like, dude, had I, oh man, you broke your leg, man. Yeah, like yeah. what happens had, to that kid? Had I, I known that. that was the case in that instant, I would have done, tried to do it right away. But by the time I got to the hospital, they were super swollen and it was just impossible to get her back in place. But, wow. but yes, I would have. And you know, we're we're skaters, so we're, we we try to avoid hospitals as much as we can, I figured, yeah, because we're trying to keep moving and keep going, and yeah, no insurance. And so you oh, tend to be this sort of the waiting room sucks renegade too. expert on injuries. Dr. Yeah. Skateboard, like, hotel medicine—that's really, what we call yeah. it, Tony. What's that? Hotel medicine. <laughs> yeah, but but also having kids, it's funny because because my wife is just like, I don't know, go ask Tony. Go ask, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, go yeah. ask your dad. Like, yeah, for sure. This like is, a skate nurse or like a tree. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. And, and also, but also, you, you you can put a lot of fears to rest. Sure. Because yeah. like, yeah. no, that's not that infected. Yeah, my, my ex wife. <laughs> what about what about ribs? That's what do you crazy. think? You don't I need anything. Delicious. That's a, that's, whenever you break a rib, but I know it, that there's nothing you can do unless but, it's punched a lung. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, they can't that, put a me, cast on it, so there's no point going. That to me is the most painful thing that no one gives it. Like no one, like you know, I think a cracked rib is like okay. Tell me when it's something real. It's like, yeah. it hurts, you can't sleep, and if, it goes on if forever. If you sneeze, you're in hell. Oh, man. If you I had a guy, he was, he was actually more of a chiropractor, but I, I did uh, break a rib, and it was kind of out of place right here. Oh, up yeah. there. Up yeah. here. I thought it was my collarbone oh, at shit. first. But he had this sort of popping pen thing. Yeah. And he just did it like three times and, and popped, back, popped, popped back it back in. into place. Whoa, yeah. dude, that's cool. You need one of those in your skate bag because I don't want to go to see that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, my shoulders used to come out of the socket all the time and I had one friend that knew how to put it back in for me. Yeah. And if he wasn't around, I'd try to get somebody else to do it and it would be like a nightmare because they, I'd go to pull it and they'd, they'd let it move and then it wouldn't go back in. Mm -hmm. And then I'd be like walking around with it. Like, I'm like, hey man, anybody, anybody ever put a shoulder back in? Anybody? And somebody like, oh, I'll try it. And then I like, kept giving my hand to people yeah. and try to yank my oh, shoulder God. back in. I have a separated shoulder and I just got like shoulder surgery. And the guy, I go, maybe while you're in there, you can fix this like, cause it was before the the real surgery for separating. Mm -hmm. So I was in a sling for like I think two years of my life. You know, like what? just like hey, how'd you, how'd look you at me, everybody. What? How did you do it? We were rough housing in my uh, mom's house, and like I guess we had seen something where um, hey, let's flip each other and flip me right on a marble table. And my yeah. mom was angry that like you broke my table and now you have a separated shoulder. Yeah. And then the other guy, the poor kid, he took like the beating, like he's like, get the fuck out of here. I don't want you in my house. Look what you did to my table and my son. I'm in that order. You know? <laughs> but yeah, I was like, oh man, now that you're going back in there, maybe you can fix it. He's like, it's not worth, it's not worth it, buddy. Just like, you know, whatever it is, it is. But I wish I had gotten it taken care of the right way the first way, the yeah. first time. Cause like, you can never make up for it. So. But you still can like lift your arm and stuff. I can, yeah. I he was right. high Wait, that's as high as it goes? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. It's yeah. not McCain. <laughs> I, I actually, the guy who did my thing, way better now. Yeah. So there yeah. you go. I was going to say, yeah, maybe they should have done But something. it's amazing how how much the human body can take. Yeah. And just like how um, you, we really like seem to like, you know, fuck, you know, keep going. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you or, know. or just adapt to the, sure. to the new normal. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I definitely learned at our age yeah. of skating. It's like, all right, this is what... These are the cards we're dealt now. Yes. How do we work with this or within these confines or try to explore something else? I mean, like when you say, like, are you getting better? Yeah. I'm, I'm worse at a bunch of stuff that I used to do, but I'm better at this other stuff because I just figured out, well, this is my new strength. Mm -hmm. And that keeps it interesting to you, because absolutely to, okay. Because to us, it's like getting it's the getting better that keeps it interesting. Yeah, yeah. and you know, so that's why I'm wondering. You know, so you just find a different. But, I mean, you guys must have to explore not new comedy, but just new subject matter with the the sensitivities now. But that's yeah. I, but we're I, joke guys, so yeah. like for us, like you know, like writing a joke and seeing it work and then work consistently, that's a big deal in our world. You know, I think he'll back me up. But it's like we talk endlessly about like why isn't that working anymore? What happened? Was it the crowd? Maybe it wasn't that funny to begin with. So he could take you through yeah. it too. It's like it really is like like this kind of like a mental torture that you put yourself 
sell through for material, you know? But I like it. I, like, purposely, like, push myself. I think, like, oh, what haven't I done that I can try and do? And what's yeah. a new way to go with it that, that I haven't done already? And uh, I'm, I'm tired of writing that kind of joke. I'm going to write this one. And so I'm always trying to push myself. It was it was Nate Bargatze who, who turned me on. I don't know if you know him. He's a very Great funny comic. comic. Great comic. But it was, like, during the pandemic, I started taking Spanish classes. And he started playing golf. And he was, he was like, he was the one that hit me that, like, oh, what we miss from comedy is we feel ourselves getting, like, even that much better every time. Yeah. But just that, that is that that's part of the high is like oh i'm getting a little bit better like oh, that's, all the time uh, yeah that's what i tell people all the time that's yeah. the high i've been chasing since i was since i was 11 years old and i did my first new trick cool and it was like how do you write new jokes in a new writing style when it's you're still you well it's not a new writing style it's like say like like um the first album that i had was like all like dirty jokes and then i'm like well what if i what if I want to try and say something? But maybe there's an idea that I have. It's not even a funny idea, but I just want to talk about this thing. So that's a new thing. You know what I mean? So it's all me. It's just where I can push it. Or maybe I want a, a theme with the hour. Or maybe I want it to have a narrative. Or or I don't want to, you know, or I want to close like this. I don't want to do that kind of joke. All those kinds of things. When you that's have all. an idea, do you ever tell? Do you ever do the idea on stage and not know the jokes in it yet to to, to find them? Well, you got. I don't. I don't write on stage a lot, but it sometimes it's better to not write it out word for word because then it'll come out more naturally. So you have okay. an idea of what you're going to say and then the words and then you kind of get there but usually you write the jokes i i sit i'm he, i'm weird like classic, that. people yeah. people don't really do it like the way i do it i sit down and write i can sit there down is and nothing like better this. than the actual like magic happens where you come up with something on stage yeah. spur of the moment whatever and he's seen me do back and forth but I, I think something that's applicable if i could say it right to both of it is that there's the uh there's the performance and then I always felt like my writing and my performance like they never were equal now I'm kind of old so they're kind of about yeah. the same and he's seen me for a long long time so he could tell you like you know I can hold the room and I could do this and I'm still trying to come up with these so I, I think it's probably in your world too that like you there were probably a bunch of guys like hot dogs that were like more performance <clears throat> than actual skill but I, I you know it's always skill wins I think in the long game in yeah. the short game yeah the guy's flashy or like you know does like uh you know like a, 360 a, burials yeah. Right. yeah, so I, I think you have a name that you're like, oh, this guy's really just like smoke. You know, he's not yeah. the real steak. So I think in our world, too, that like, uh, you know, performance is is key. But uh, writing is really where, like, you know, the work is. And yeah. these guys, when he brought up Nate, that's a good thing of like anybody can write. Writing a dirty joke is not is not as hard as writing a clean, really good joke. Yeah. And those are the ones that like you can be like, whoa, when somebody tells one and you're like, man. Dude, I, I didn't even think of that, and that's amazing. And there's no f bombs in there, or yeah. you know, holes or poles or anything in there. Yeah. So, I, I, I was wondering. Way to go. I saw your special, and there was like one of those emergency alert went off. Yeah, on, on my the phone. phone. Yeah, it was on your phone. Yeah, that's my phone. It happened while I was doing the show. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Well, that was uh, someone broke into my car. Uh, no, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's car. <laughs> but you just ran and it was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm I got moved up on the. Kidney, kidney donor list, list yeah, yes. but I just, I'm always curious about that, especially with that or with hecklers. Do you have a couple things in your back pocket? I mean, there's things that have been said, but it, I think he'll, I'm going to say it, but it's like, you know, whether we're riffing back and forth, he knows that I'm always looking for the new stuff. So I, there's a lot of guys who have their like, this happens and, you know, uh, nice shirt, whatever. They call it crowd work. And that's become kind of like a subset of comedy now. But back in the day, crowd work was something you did because it was terrible. And like the crowd hated you and you yeah, had to do right. it. And like, you know, it was a knife fight. It was a knife fight. Yeah. And like today's kind of crowd work, I find a little tame. But I, I can mix it up with the best of them. It's just that, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you can leave going like, well, the biggest laugh I got was when I made fun of that guy's shoes. But all the jokes were like, OK. So in a way, it is kind of like a, a false high. But yeah. I mean, there's things you could say, this you could do. And like when I'm up there, I, you know, not that like, uh, whatever, I don't want to like freak anyone out, but like I'm thinking about a lot of things going on, not just the jokes. So I'm like watching the room, I'm watching the exits, you know, mm -hmm. I'm looking at this guy, is he taping me? This guy has got his phone. So I got a lot of things going on in my head. And I think he'll back you up and say, like, today's crowds are not really cool with like turning their phones off and just watching something. I mean, it's yeah. really difficult for them, you know? Yeah. But he's really built for a way, like a, a, a truly a crowd that doesn't exist anymore. Like he came up with these, like these drunken maniac crowds. Yes. Right. And now when they're not, when they're not, not, when it's not a good crowd, they're almost like just not engaged. Yep. So he's got these like battle tactics that 
that aren't even like you don't even need them anymore, but he still got them. It's really right. funny yeah. to watch. <laughs> yeah. An arsenal. And, yeah, and it really yeah. is. It's like it's a mix. It is a mix, though. To answer your question, it's like so. It's not like stock lines, but you like you've been in this situation before, so you know how to deal yeah, with it. Experience more what it is. You know what I mean? I like, saw we, a, a, ahead, I I'm, saw a comic once um, in uh, in Vegas. My my sister used to sing backup from Michael Bolton. Cool. Whoa. There's a, there's a, a period piece, but. Um, <laughs> And there's this <laughs> comedian. There, but... This comedian opened up for Mike, the Michael Bolton show, so it's a huge venue, right? Mm -hmm. And he's got this routine or whatever, and this dude keeps barking out something in the audience. We can't even hear it. Uh -huh. Who knows? And the guy stops. He's like, "Hey, motherfucker, you ruined my timing one more time. We're taking this out to the casino. I'm kicking your ass." And was like, "But it got it was so <laughs> angry funny, and harsh Tony. that it yeah. was like, oh, this guy sucks.' It killed the vibe, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah." yeah. The key is that you know you just got to say that and smile. If you go, hey motherfucker, if yeah. like, seriously, I'm not yeah. even joking. Hey motherfucker, you want to do that one more time? You just can't. You can't. You can't break that kind of. He's really good mm -hmm. at it. It's like because you got to be harsh, but that's not too I, harsh. When you were saying that, you're yeah, right next. A, it feels a, like you you have that. Uh, it's a crazy it, balance. You don't you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to like smash him to the ground. You just want to like a gentle slap. You know yeah. that's the way I see. It. But I've seen guys like where a guy will be like you know. Just moving in the seat, and the guy will go full tilt nuclear on him. Like he didn't do anything. <laughs> let up, <laughs> let him up, let him up. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think that's so funny because when you brought up Vegas, we, I was just there, and it, it was great. The old Vegas, the old Atlantic City, all these old casino towns. The oh. roughest crowds, sad losers, drunks. You know, like the you know the the Billy Joel song, just like sad <laughs> characters. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and they're just sitting there, and like you're trying to. Go, the, the, that's kind of like the um, those those kind of shows. Not so much anymore. You know, not so much. But those are the ones where you kind of build that muscle of like, yeah. you know, I'm doing this. They've hired me to do it. So for some reason, I must be better at this than you. Yeah. So I'm going to go at it. It's <laughs> an interesting angle. Yeah, I always feel like because I train and I fight and I'm good at it. Yeah. And most people in the crowd, I'm pretty sure I could beat their ass. And, I, and if you say something smart, I, there's a part of me like this thing that I've always tried to be like a tough guy that's all bullshit because I'm a terrified little kid. Mm -hmm. But when you puff up, I'm like, man, I could wreck you. But then I know that if I go into that mode, he's not funny at all. That yeah. person's like actually kind of terrifying. So that I have, I instantly am the, my angle is to be funny, to be like, yeah, maybe I am a, a raging homo and you've got me, you know, mm -hmm. definitely not. Listen, dude, if you want to go outside in the parking lot, we can regulate real quick. Well, like, I, yeah. I know if I go there, my set is done. Well, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just better to diffuse it. I remember I, I was like, and I don't even really know him, but I was uh, hanging, I was smoking weed by Joe Rogan in the Ice House parking lot. And I remember him saying, like, you never want to get in a fight with anybody, any kind of street fight. You never do. I'm like, Joe Rogan, Sam, this dude who, like, all he does is, like, train and fight. And I'm like, wow. He's right. respect yeah, you give it time. Yeah. yeah, you know, like, I got to, all right, that's the move then. Hey, nobody wins. Yeah, yeah. We're, even we're, when you win, that's the other thing. If you're good at fighting and the guy's, like, a big mouth and you knock him out, that's happened to me. Mm -hmm. There's, if, unless you're a really mean person, but, like, I've just felt bad. Yeah, I've heard yeah. That. Like, I'm like, oh, Great, cool. Is he okay? You know, like <laughs> there's no that. like. Who else wants some? Like, yeah. unless you're like a really mean person, it's yeah. a very sad experience. I've, I've heard that. Versus it's... most times, you get hit too. <laughs> yeah, and it's like even if he lost, you're like, oh, cool. <laughs> Let me go to the like ER and get some stuff. Like, well, can't wait to do that again. Like, no, you can't. It's <laughs> or the cops come. Like, it's all. It's better to, that's like, hey, man, you're a so-and-so. I'm like, I think I agree. I am. <laughs> well, Can we leave we, now? <laughs> the world we live in now, too, is also like, uh, you know, the guys working security at clubs. I'm sure you guys know this, too. It's like the the actual putting hands on people, you know, even if you're a security guy, yeah, yeah. like, you know, back up. Uh, sorry, we need you to leave. That's over because everybody's a lawyer. So yeah, 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 honestly, yeah. you got to be very careful what you do, like with that kind of stuff, yeah. with uh, punch ups and all that kind of stuff. I think those days are over now. I think it's all on the web. That's where people are at right. the meanest. I don't know how they brutalist. get away with that on the web, but I'm very yeah. It's uh, it's kind of ridiculous, but it, I can see how it would be difficult. You're on stage, right? And you're like, you know, you're working on you're working on something that you know you're trying to learn something, you're trying yeah. to grasp. And like, if somebody says something or whatever, and then like you have this whole other. Basically, this that other you that wants to handle it, yeah. you know. So it's really difficult. Like, 
most comics don't come from success. You know, it's not like, right. you know, back when I was, uh, you know, a jet pilot, you very <laughs> yeah. rarely hear stories <laughs> no, of like, it's you know, been so let crushing. me tell you about being an astronaut, yeah. okay? It's not all <laughs> shitting in your pants, all right, guys? There's a lot of stuff you got to I've science. never been more miserable and felt like such a loser in my whole life, and I feel like every day I get a little bit lower and I blend in a little bit better with everybody at the comedy club. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> uh, it's like, I slept in my car last night. I'm like, I'm not there yet, but, I mean, I'm working for it. Like soon I'll be sleeping next to you. That's why we're inviting you guys in so that he's he feels oh, that's cool. get a little bit more in. Like he's just you know, that. wheezing, and I think wheezing his way. Well, through. you're welcome. I'm doing shows in Brea this week. You're welcome to come on do a guest set. How about the that? Fuck yeah, up. yeah. So there okay. you go. Now all you got to do is steal a car and get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or so, skate. It'll take you hours. I think, I think that's how our, come that's GPS our... doesn't put how long it takes to skate places? <laughs> I think that's our good out. I'll leave he now. Just, he just commit. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say. He just committed to you. Yeah, that's an op opening. Do it anytime, that's it. buddy. Dude, I'd love you. it. Sorry, Louie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Louie. It's a tough okay, game, next man. Game, I'm still, yeah. I'm still <laughs> on the show. I'm still on the show. I'm still on the show. I just You're right, Tony. It's an audition. It's not show. Like I'm still it's on the show. Okay, yeah. I got a lot of stuff planned. I'm doing that joke. Tony's going to stand up, punch me in the I'm face. Gonna yeah. gonna I'm going to take a shit. I'm going to come out and punch him. I'm going to be like, that's not too far from me. So that We got to do that, dude. Honestly. How cool is that? I'll see the tape. Don't play that part of the tape. So it'll be like a huge fucking thing there. I know we'll do it at the Capitol. Yeah. It's the capital. Sometime in January. <laughs> Daddy, you know the capital. Let's try, oh, and, yeah, let's yeah. try and bring some of the fun back. Yeah, yeah, right, I know. That's what that was missing. <laughs> yeah, just a microphone in the stage. That's yeah, all he like, needed. Hey, what, what, what are all Could you doing? Could have changed everything. Here? <laughs> Calm down. He's going to say his line. The improv <laughs> insurrection. <laughs> hey, oh, thanks, man. you guys, for yeah, coming. Thank thanks you. for That was fun. Thank you so guys. much. Yeah, Make sure you check out thanks. his new special. Hot Cross Buns. Awesome. You got to do it. It's real good. He's a genius. And Louis. And this is actually really funny, too. I listened Whoa. to it. I checked it out on YouTube on the way here, and I was Thank like, you. check you out. What's You're the name way of the advanced. Uh, it's called Present Tense, and it's on it's YouTube. It's awesome. So check it I've out. seen it. It's yeah. great. Uh, they're very, they're high level. So Thank go you. click over there. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Are you good? <laughs> I'm going to get out of the way when you come up, Tony. Yes! What was that? Did an angel fly over me? <laughs> what was that? Awesome. Dude. Okay, now do me from back. <laughs>